Hi my beautiful people, welcome to another vlog regarding my last ditch attempt just for now to go under two hours and a half marathon this spring. This is a very honest and candid vlog and it gets a little bit chatty so hopefully you won't mind. Alright guys, back with our buttercups. Let's see how this week went. Welcome to everyone, thanks. So hi guys, welcome to the channel. This song is a tribute to how obsessed I am with Korean game shows. So the song is a K-pop song and I am obsessed with Korean game shows on Netflix. If anybody has watched Physical 100 or The Devil's Plan, please comment below. They probably don't have that many viewers. The likelihood that someone watching this channel has also watched any of their shows is tiny, but I still would like to know if you watched any of them. Specifically, I am obsessed with The Devil's Plan. Also, I think it's pretty weird to brag about this, but I think I am the fastest person to put on sunblock on my skin. I'm pretty sure I can make it to the world Guinness record. to have to put on some block in my legs, on my arms, so that makes me happy. I smell like banana boat. It's not banana boat what I use, but it's that coconut smell. And I love that smell, you guys. Who else loves coconut smell in your sunblock? Let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, when I started running, I could not find any social media personality that posted anything even remotely relatable. I was a 40-something year old woman working in the corporate world with a young kid and a husband and a house and balancing a lot of balls in the air and I could not find anything remotely similar to me out there on the cyberspace. So if you identify with something like this, this channel is for you, so please give this video a like, stick around and subscribe. So at this very moment I am training myself using the knowledge that I have acquired in the last seven and a half years of running to really hone in and try and get a little bit faster. I am aiming for an under two hour half marathon this spring and my key race is May 19th at Superhero Half Marathon in Morristown, New Jersey. So if you're around, please come say hello. And these shots were taken with my Hover Air X1. This is a self-flying camera, so no, I didn't have anybody following me around. Actually, there were a few teenagers on that bridge that you see up in front and they asked me if I liked the hover air they knew what it was and they were like super super pumped <laughs> seeing a mom using this cool self-flying camera
Now we have going up again. These hills are quite something. what's going on with me but I have absolutely no pop in my legs today like no pop I feel like they're lead they're heavy I don't know why I didn't run yesterday Okay, there's someone already waiting for me to get out of here, I think. Oh. train a couple of days a week for maybe an hour two hours or anywhere in between really it just depends on the week super hot it's 65 degrees and it's early in the morning so I usually don't run on Mondays but I did my 40 minutes of strength training and it's still early so I decided to come out and just do a couple miles for how tired I felt yesterday during my run I feel fantastic today it's one of those weird things the body does. I want to think that this happens to everybody. Let me know if it happens to you. <laughs> that you're absolutely pooped during a run and then the following day you're feeling fantastic. <laughs> This run, I'm almost home. It's gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous. I'm so glad I came out. <laughs> the temperature is great and the breeze is just cooling me down. Oh. Awesome. Hey, folks, today is one of those days that I miss not having a convertible. Never had a convertible, but today is one of those days because it's beautiful out have all the windows down, and I'm going to work, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be this early. I took a shower so quickly, I didn't even have time to dry my hair. Heaven, I'm in heaven. Yeah, yeah. 
Somos leyenda. I just told the security guard, my shoes are killing me. Because I am blimping so bad. It's hilarious. Not. It's hilarious for everybody else, not for me. I don't know where I parked the car. Yeah, park. Hopefully not too far. La gente pone las reglas para que los otros la sigan. Afuera, afuera esa gente que siempre tiene esa manía. Good morning. It's crisp morning today. We're gonna do kilometer reps on preparation for our half marathon. We want to do, remember, under two hour half marathon. I'm close, really close. I feel that I can do this. My personal best is two hours three. So, two hours three minutes. So, I'm running faster. I've been running faster than in the past, but we shall see because we haven't had a good stretch of training. I got a cold before the love run, then I got injured for April Fools. So we're gonna take one day at a time. Try not to get injured, try not to fall, try not to get colds, all that jazz. Okay. And looking at the end of night at the bar. Go low, 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 low. Second kilometer, well, third kilometer. But the first one was just warming up, so I don't know what the speed for that one. I wasn't tracking. The second, I did 5.35, I think. And this one, I did 5.13. So now we're aiming for like a 5.35 again. Okay. Let's go. Five twenty-eight. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now we have to do this one at 5, 10, 5, 15. We shall see. 5.22. And now we're cooling down. Oh, that was hard. That was really hard. Because I haven't done them, I guess, in three weeks, four weeks. So, yeah. These are hard guys. Okay. I'll put them on the screen below afterwards for you when I'm back home. Oof. Well guys, I have merch. I printed out a test top singlet. I'm gonna wear this for my, I think. We're gonna open it and see first. Ooh. Company's called Rash Order Tees. It took three weeks for this to arrive. But, you know, if I do merch, we'll see. Okay. We'll see. Oh, wow. Which one did I order? I heard they're small. It's, it's generous, guys. It's small, but it's generous. Okay, I'm gonna try it on and I'm gonna show you. Okay, so... The red could be brighter. Honestly, it's a very... It, it's orangey. This... Has this. It should be like this. Okay, so two things. The length is okay, the size is okay, but the print is not centered. Like, what in the world? It's nothing is like... Uh, crap. I've been trying to get a company to do singlets the right way. It's not centered at all. Honestly, it's just like, uh, 
this is gonna try and be bananas, the fact that this is, see what I mean? And it's not centered. <sighs> Wednesday, happy hump day. We are doing an easy run. We're gonna run one hour, we're gonna go back time. We went to a concert last night in Princeton. My son, my husband and I, we are huge fans of these. Well, they are both like the band more than me. But we, all three of us are fans, like the music too. And I just don't listen to it in the car like my son and my husband do. <laughs> we went to the band, it's called Snarky Puppy. And the place when we went to is MacArthur Theater in uh, Princeton. And it was so good. Oh my God. It was such a good concert. To me, they sound better live than on the record, like on when you play the album. So, yeah, really good. And the lead uh, musician was so good. Like in between the songs when he was talking, he was making jokes, he was really good. So, they're in Brooklyn today, I think. They're touring the Northeast. Okay, there's a car turning. I'll let them go. And I'm gonna continue running. Easy. We didn't get home till 10.30. I was busted. I was so tired. And I could not wake up till 7.30 this morning. It's a good thing I'm home today. I'm not going to the office. Because that would have eaten my whole morning. But I really needed the sleep, so. I'm listening to a podcast and yeah, we're gonna get it done as we always do, or almost always. Can't say I'm infallible because I am definitely fallible. So, but we try hard. If you give 100% on a day where you only have 40%, you're good, guys. Today, to be honest, I don't know how much I have to be because I'm tired. <laughs> Night. We didn't even drink or anything. We just the concert. Yeah. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry. Cause as long as we're together, home can be a million different things. In our hearts, I said, Hey, yeah, 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 follow the spark. Ain't nothing but a one way. Hey, yeah, 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 call it a star. By leaving behind what's breaking our hearts, I said, Hey, yeah, 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 follow the spark. Ain't nothing but a one way. This was at my door. I have no idea what it is. Let's see. Oh! Oh wow, they sent a massive, massive box. <laughs> you wanna see what it is, anybody? For this. I can't believe this. <laughs> It's a massive box. I can put any inside. She's licking my face. Okay. Oh wow, it's super nice. Okay. Let me show you guys what it is. A little bit more. Oh, it comes with instructions. So it's this company. They contacted me to see if I wanted one of their hats. They're very fancy hats, so of course I said yes, because you have to protect 
your face for when I walk Annie and if we go to the beach or hiking, I think it's a great. I'm gonna take it to Spain because the sun in Spain hits hard. Um, but tells you how to adjust it and how to pack it. Oh wow, you can fold it like all the way. Tells you how to reshape it and how to clean it. Very cool. And that's the company, guys. I'll put a link below. But first of all, I'm gonna try it on. I think we're gonna need, oh, it has a straw. I love that it has a straw. Might not be the best with the glasses. Okay. Mm, awesome for my adventures oh wow I love hats guys I have straw hats like not like this this is actually probably the best one I have the highest quality uh, but I own probably this is the fourth one I have one that's a cowboy hat that's also made out of this um, that my son brought from Texas when he went a couple of years ago with friends yeah, look at this. Oh my God, it's super nice. I love that it covers my whole, like, I can really put it down. I'm digging this. Annie, what do you think? Annie, what do you think about my hat? Do you agree? Do you like the hat? <laughs> okay. Thursday, I have to go into the office. It's a crappy day. It's kind of raining. Drizzling a little bit. Now I'm going to do a quick interval run. Very, very quick 20 minutes because that's all we have time for. I have a super busy day in the office. I overslept. I slept well, actually, but I overslept. I guess I was tired. I'm rested. Now I have six minutes cool down running home. And that's that. We are done, you guys. Okay. This was a good short little run. Yeah. I'm gonna go this way actually. Because I don't think I have six minutes going that way. I think it's more. Okay. Funny how I have everything calculated. <laughs> Guys, it's Saturday. I went out for six miles. And I'm listening to this. I am four miles in. I haven't recorded anything. I didn't record myself running yesterday. And I did almost five miles. Progressive. I actually ended up somewhere I usually don't come to because I was absorbed in this podcast I'm listening to. It's Ritual interviewing Scott Galloway. It's a guy I really like actually. Very controversial guy. I don't agree with everything he says, but he always brings up really interesting points. And you can sort of disagree with him but elaborate on your own you know, from those threads, just elaborate and think about. God, I'm getting very intellectual here. Just think about your own shit and how life can be different for different people. It's really, it, he brings up really great points. Anyway, he has his own podcast. It's called Prof G, I think. Prof G? I think. Yes, Prof G from Galloway. Um, funny that his last name is the same last name as Jeff Galloway. That's a whole different point. Anyway, again, I'm getting, I'm brambly. I'm gonna find my way back to where I should be going. Yes, we're going for six or one hour, whatever comes first. Probably the one hour is going first. Well, I ran almost six miles. I think it was 5.5, something like that. I'm gonna put here at the end 
it is right here to left. I'm gonna put at the end of this video the split of my training this week. You guys have asked for that. I'm driving to a friend's concert. She's singing with her a cappella group in a church in New Jersey, in Pennington, New Jersey. So I have a 18 minute drive and it's her birthday. So I didn't want to miss her saying happy birthday face to face to her. And uh, yeah, and then on the way back, I'm gonna do my grocery shop for the week. So very prosaic adventure, guys. <laughs> Not everything is running and I'm gonna pitch my running, my training split for this week. Okay guys, and here's my split for the week of April 14th that started on a Sunday. Sunday I did some hill training like you saw in the beginning. It was a little bit over six miles. Tuesday was a hard run. I did kilometer we beat alternating 10k pace and half marathon pace. Wednesday I did an easy run. Thursday I did a quick 25 minute interval training as you see on your screen. Friday, I programmed a progressive run. I really should have run this a little bit harder than I did, but I'm happy with it. And then last but not least, Saturday, I did an easy run of one hour in which I almost completed six miles. Total miles for the week from Sunday to Saturday, 30 miles. And remember my next race is 427 at Jim Thorpe. And I'm super excited about this one. My friend Len is gonna join me. So I hope to see you there. I'll put the link below if you wanna sign up for the race. And if you see me around, please, please come say hello. All right, guys, if you like this video, give a thumbs up, click on my face to subscribe, run fearless. <laughs>